I don't know about you, but I have been annoyed for some time that uh, Google Classroom does not make it easy to rotate photos. And for some reason, uh, when students submit photos into Google, Google Classroom, either as an attachment or by inserting into a Google Docs, they almost always come out sideways. It's, all, it's like we cannot figure out a way to get them to come in right side up. So the next best thing is when you're looking at the photo they submitted, uh, I'm assuming of their work that they did, um, it'd be nice if you could rotate. Well, Google Classroom has not implemented that, but if you search for Chrome, flip this, you will find an extension and this extension will allow you to rotate your page um, and uh, I've already installed this on my browser so you can see it's added to Chrome but normally you'd click here and it'll add this extension uh, there's a little toolbar icon it'll add to your browser so let's go ahead and see how this works so here is a current uh, student in a, in, a, in a Google Classroom that I have and the student has chosen to submit their work as, atta as photo attachments. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the photos and again this, is, this could be the same thing that happens if they insert a photo in a doc but just so you know it works with attachments and, and that's what this video covers. So I click on it. Now uh, what you can see is that the, the work is pretty clear. It's pretty easy to read, but it's sideways. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click open. And you kind of need to follow this procedure. I, there might be another way to do it. Please let me know if there is. But for right now, what I do is I click on open. And when I do, uh, unfortunately, still that doesn't help me to use the new flip uh, this uh, Chrome thing. If I if I click this now, it really does nothing for me. Um, but what I figured out is, is now that I clicked open, if I now do a right mouse click and I get the context menu and I choose open image in new tab while, while having the mouse over the image, um, if I click on that, I get another tab. And in the new tab, the new tab is just the image alone. And now I can go over to flip this. And when I click it, Voila, I get rotation. Now, uh, I did notice that sometimes the rotation doesn't let you see the whole image. Um, so make sure your browser window is open as big as it can possibly be. Maybe maximize it so it takes up the whole computer monitor. And that way you'll be able to read everything. Uh, and if uh, and, I do, and you can go up and down a little bit. And I, I honestly have not tried to zoom in yet. Uh, maybe I'll just try that just for the heck of it. So let's go ahead and go uh, plus. So yeah, I can even zoom in and still scroll up and down. So this is a pretty neat trick. Uh, one other little thing, just to make sure you're with me on this and that you get it right. Um, there is some problems. Uh, you, you have to do a little configuration with Flip This. I'm going to go ahead and hit my right mouse button. And when I do, I get a menu. And under the menu, one of the uh, choices is options. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I go to options, uh, by default, I, I forget what the option was here under rotate, uh, but I changed it to plus 90 degrees. And that way it allows me to rotate and see what the student did. Um, so anyways, uh, you, you may have to configure that option depending on what photo you're looking at. Uh, and certainly you need to change it because I think the default was 180. And what I really wanted was just a 90 degree and I wanted a plus 90 degree. With your photos that your students submit, you might need to do a minus 90 degree. Just make sure that you understand that when you're looking at the photo, you might need to do a right mouse click and click on options to set the degree. And then you can go back. Now, if it doesn't work for you immediately after you change the setting, you might need to close the windows and then go back and reopen them and give them another try. All right, that's what I got for you. If you got questions, uh, please uh, uh, post uh, comments uh, down below the YouTube video uh, or try to send me an email.